Soprano is mm-hmm. awesome for playing Hawaiian music. You just you just get mm-hmm. a tonal quality that you don't get on the concert at tenor. It sounds size. like just like the old recordings. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I got the Pono AS model, which is the solid acacia soprano size ukulele. You know, solid acacia front sides back, bone nut and saddle, saddle nut. <laughs> um, cool little rope binding around the rosette of the ukulele, ebony bridge faceplate uh, fretboard, um, Grover gear tuners on the back, and all around just a very fun ukulele to play with. Satin finish, too, so very sweet. So I have here the sister model of the Pono AS. This is the Pono ASD, the All Solid Acacia Soprano Deluxe model. Everything about this instrument is pretty much the same as the regular AS model, um, except for the gloss finish. So with the Deluxe models from Pono, you get a few extra features. In this case, we have a beautiful shiny gloss finish that really showcases the wood grain um, from the acacia wood. Um, it has pretty much all the same stuff as the normal AS. We have Grover tuners, um, bone saddle, and nut, and all solid acacia wood. You have a little rope rosette here near the sound hole, and you really get that bright traditional older like 1950s kind of sound and which is really awesome about sopranos and I'm mostly a tenor player but every time I get to play a soprano it brings out more ideas and and more inspiration so this is a treat for me so let's get get to it and see how this sounds <laughs> Thank you. 
the kind of sound that you're getting from that sound sample was really nice because, you know, people might think, oh, it's a soprano, it's what ten dollars, it's a, it's it's a toy or something, you know, because and then and then small, you play yeah. something like that, and then it's just like. Wow, look how like it's multidimensional. Small so instruments matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is just so much going on uh, just in that piece. So it's it's good. The soprano is a versatile instrument. You can definitely do a lot, even if it's it has a small nature or it's small size. Yeah. It's really it, great. Just because it's a soprano doesn't mean it's for beginners. It's for all levels of playing and all ages. Yeah, look at Herb Bolta Sr., the man himself. Oh, you know, Alta Sun. <laughs> he rocked it with his I Martin know. soprano his whole life, his whole career. Uh, one of man, the legend. most, yeah, one of the most legend. prolific artists to ever come out of Hawaii. He yep. rocked his Martin soprano ukulele. So, <laughs> yeah, this soprano size can be taken seriously too, just oh, yeah. as much as the traditional tenor size that everyone plays or concert size. Yep. Two, three, and. So I have here a Pono AC. This is the Solid Acacia Concert Ukulele. All solid acacia for the front, back, and sides. And it comes with a rope rosette. Really nice uh, pore-filled uh, satin finish. Really nice and smooth on the whole body. Mahogany neck, Grover tuners, and a nice Pono logo in the in the headstock with the mother of pearl so check out this ukulele let's give it a little test run
Yeah. Sweet. Sounds like wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it has like a very natural, natural tone to it. Like organic? Yeah. I guess you could organic. say. Alright, so I have the Pono AC but deluxe version of what Calais was just playing. And um, so pretty much all the same specs, you know, solid acacia wood, front, back, and sides, ro rosette, uh, uh, <laughs> ebony bridge, fretboard, and faceplate, Grover tuners, gear tuners, bow, nut, and saddle. But with the deluxe version, you're going to get a nice, beautiful gloss to really emphasize the wood grain of the acacia which is it's really pretty so yeah check it out <laughs> Yeah, really nice sound. Really clean sound. I mean, note separations there. It's really warm, but you can still hear the articulation of the note. Nice clarity. And it's nylon strings too, so even more so, it comes out. Very balanced sound. Very impressed. And nice sustain. You can hear that. And it's a concert size too. That's a very mature song. This one sounds warmer. Yeah, it almost, in a way, it sounds a little more, not compressed, but like, it's ever so slightly. It's I feel like the other one has a little brighter. It has a meatier sound. Oh. It has more, a little more of a open sound. The other one feels a little more. From here, the AC sounded a little bit brighter, and this one yeah. sounded a little bit warmer. Yeah, the ACD for me was warmer out of the two. Yeah. No, mine still is. <laughs> Mine's is shinier than yours. <laughs> Mine sounds better.
right, so here we have the Pono Acacia model in the tenor size. So just like the Soprano and the concert sizes of this model, it has pretty much all the same specs. You know, you're gonna get solid Acacia front, sides, and back. You're gonna get ebony bridge, fretboard, faceplate, bone, saddle, and nut. Um, the rope rosette around the sound hole. And you're gonna get Grover gear tuners here in the back. Um, and then you're gonna have a satin mahogany neck. And then overall the ukulele has a satin finish. And you know, the tenor size, maybe a lot of you are familiar with, is one of the most popular sizes that a lot of musicians like to play with, including myself. And um, I think the reason for that is because the tenor has a nice balance of size for like, I guess the average size person, the tenor would fit most comfortable when you're, you know, really being relaxed and just kind of naturally holding it. And then the sound is also very mature because it's bigger than, obviously it's bigger than the soprano on the concert size, but it has a good balance of punchiness and brightness with the instrument. But because of the bigger body compared to the soprano on the concert size, you're gonna get a very mature sounding instrument. Yeah, that's the tenor size. And uh, check it out with the sound sample. here a Pono Acacia Tenor Deluxe, also known as the Pono ATD. Just like the Soprano concert models, um, this is made out of solid Acacia wood. And one of the biggest differences between the Tenor and the two smaller sizes is generally how it sounds. You have a bigger box, bigger body, therefore you get a deeper tone and in most cases even more volume because there's more room for the sound to resonate within the instrument and just like the standard AT satin finish model um, it comes with all the same material the same type of rosette uh, you got your um, ebony bridge and also the fretboard and faceplate and everything is pretty much topped off with a really nice gloss finish to bring out more of the wood grains and but yeah we still have a satin neck and I really love the feel of satin necks I feel like my hands won't get stuck while I'm moving around the fretboard you know changing from one chord to the next and I generally overall just enjoy playing um, tenors a bit more than even the baritone um, and of course the other two small sizes it's just I have more room for my hands, which allows me to do more things and move more efficiently. So check out the sound sample, hope you enjoy. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I always encourage people to try out and experiment with different types of strings. This ukulele in particular is strung up with the Ko'olau Aho set, which is a fluorocarbon type of string. And if you look at the fourth string on the top, this is a low G, but it's also a smooth wound or polished string. So when you have a string that is either smooth wound or polished, what you get is less string talk. It's really nice and smooth. I noticed that with these types of low Gs, they tend to last longer um, and frail uh, a lot less. So if you're looking to not be replacing your low Gs as much as most of us do, um, this is a good mm -hmm. option. And with the Aho fluorocarbon set, you get a little bit more sustain um, versus the Alohi and the Mahana. Those are different types of nylon strings and I I really enjoy the sustain that you get from fluorocarbon sets and particularly with the Aho set you get a really nice comfortable tension it's not too heavy it's not too light but you get all of the benefits of a fluorocarbon string at a comfortable feel so by changing the strings of your instrument you can give it a totally new voice I would say um, that would kind of be the final thing that you would want to search for um, after you settle with an instrument that you're very happy with. So for me, all of my instruments have a different string set. And I, the string set that I put on my instrument depends on the instrument's voice. So what you want to do is bring out the most natural sound of your instrument as possible. And if you would like to brighten it up or warm it up, you can do that with strings. So in this case, we have a low G fluorocarbon set from the Ko'olau Aho Tenor. So clean, <laughs> so crisp. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Sounds yeah, really, that sounds really so, good. That instrument sounds great. It's a good pair. It's a good pair. This ukulele and this string set. Yeah, Pono tenors and the Kola Aho set. Yeah.
All right, so we have here the beautiful model of Pono. This is one of their Pro Classic Series models. This is the ATSH-PC. So this is the all-solid Acacia tenor size. So solid Acacia front, back, and sides. And then the SH in the, in the model name stands for the slot head. So with the slot head stock. So um, with the Pro Classic Series, you're going to have a lot of upgraded deluxe features to the instrument. So we got this beautiful um, Pono Pono themed or Pono's design of their rope, um, rope rosette. It's really pretty with all the different colors and shades of the, the wood bindings. Really pretty. And then we have a wood purfling around the perimeter of the body. We have top and back binding for ebony wood. We have ebony bridge, fretboard, and faceplate. And with all the Pro Classic models, it comes with the radius fretboard on this. So you can definitely see it, and you can definitely feel, feel it when you're playing the instrument. So it helps you make those bar chords a lot easier with the natural curvature of your hand. So it does make a difference. And this ukulele has it. Um, it has a slotted headstock, like I was saying earlier. 1801 um, Grover tuners, very smooth, very, very practical, and it's very nice. I like the gold aesthetics with the with the black kind of theme with the ebony wood. Um, yeah, it is a gloss finish, beautiful gloss finish to really show you all the beautiful wood grain on the instrument, all around the body, but. It has the satin mahogany neck, so um, I I like satin necks too because if it kind of has a gloss finish, um, if your hands start to get sticky, it might start sticking to the, the finish of the ukulele, but because you have the satin finish, it's very smooth, and it just feels really comfortable um, on your thumb and when you're switching chords. So overall, beautiful instruments, really nice upgrades to the, the non-pro classic models, and um, if you want something that sounds wonderful and it looks aesthetically awesome, this is your instrument. So check it out. Here's a sound sample. another tenor from Pono. This is the All Solid Acacia Tenor Pro Classic model. This has been a staple model for Pono for a number of years and these sell very very well on the website and also in the store. It comes with a few extra features than your standard AT. One of them is a radius fretboard and the next few things is that you get a little bit more detail as far as like small things like types of bindings, purflings. In this case, we have a rope style uh, rosette over here. And all, majority of, or pretty much all the Pro, pro Classics uh, come in a gloss finish with a satin neck. And 
one thing I really like about these is that they come with they come with gold tuners. I think it looks really really clean, um, especially with the dark face plate um, here at the top near the tuning keys, and also the Pono logo this time is inlaid with wood instead of mother of pearl. For those of you who are looking for something slightly different, there are these options available. Uh, like I said, um, radius fretboard and one of the coolest features about all of the Pono tenor ukuleles is that they come with trust rods, you know, to help with adjusting when it comes to action and also relief on the neck. So that's a, um, a really cool feature that Pono offers that not very much other manufacturers do. If you look through the sound hole, you can see the truss rod um, in the neck and every single Pono Tenor ukulele comes with an Allen wrench or Allen wrench to adjust the truss rod and all you do is just take one end, pop it in here and turn it accordingly to whether if you're planning on loosening it or tightening it. That's the truss rod. So with all that said, hope you enjoy this sound sample. Holy moly.
I have a Pono ATDC SP. This is a part of the deluxe models that Pono has to offer. And one of the cool things as you go up from one model to the next is all of the variations and the extra features that come with it. In this case, it has the, of course, the um, solid acacia back in size, as does the AT and ATD. But what makes this ukulele special is that it comes with a spruce top. Spruce is one of the most commonly and also most respected woods to use for instrument tops for the ukulele or the guitar and various other instruments. It's known for its lightweight and punchy sound and clarity that you get from it. Of course you get the radius fretboard with this model as well. And one of the things that I find that makes it very easy to play higher up on the fretboard is this cutaway right here. So not only does it look cool, but it also has a functional use. So cutaways allow your hands to play up here much more efficiently rather than having to curve over the, the corner of the ukulele. Um, it comes with the, of course it's a solid bone um, nut and also the saddle here, ebony fretboard and bridge, as well as the face plate and Grover tuners. And overall, it's a great ukulele. Of course, it has the truss rod, which is one of the signatures for Pono uh, tenor ukuleles, which you can probably see here. And so, hope you enjoy this sound sample. <coughs> Is that the song Andrew learned how to play? What was that? Is that the song that Andrew learned how to play? Because I, I remember he told me the story. He's like, yeah, no one plays that song. I think Kulay. he did, like, at one point. Like, I think that was, like, when uh, we first, like, kind of, like, started hanging out. Yeah. When him and Uncle Jay was coming to <laughs> Oahu for, <laughs> like, every so many months. Because he, like, he told me the story, like, he played that for you. And you're like, oh, wow, no one learns that song of mine. So I was like, that's oh, so cool to see someone else play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's it called again? Oh, sorry. I think the this one was called uh, Ukulele Fiddle. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny because, like, when I first wrote that song, um, you know, I was thinking of, like, Irish music. Yeah, kind of like I can hear that. Celtic kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. And then they have, like, those line dances mm -hmm. that they do. Yeah, I thought that was like really like river dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember like watching all of those TV programs as a kid and just digging the music. It's a very happy song, very happy. Oh, it is. It's the energy, yeah. It is. It's such a like, if you listen to the Celtic music, there's a lot of subtleness, but a lot of like, I guess you could say uh, raw. I don't know. There's like, like a certain rock. feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's like rock, but not because it's. Yeah, but it's in this other but I find myself like head nodding like, yeah, yeah you're just like oh yeah <laughs> follow that <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I know a song that can top that. <laughs> Do you know the whole thing? He could probably play it better than uh. me too. <laughs> That's what's the funny part. Here we got the Pono model ATD-SP. So this is like the other model from Pono, the Acacia Tenor Deluxe, but this one has a few other perks to it. And some of those perks um, I really, really like. So um, on this model, we have a spruce top. And spruce top is one of my favorite woods to use as a tone wood or just as a top for, you know, ukulele guitar. It's one of the best tops you can put on um, an acoustic instrument. And that's because spruce has or is known for its very clean, has a lot of clarity, and it's uh, stiff. So the sound is very good. You're going to have a lot of um, sustain clarity and those are all a lot of things that I look for in a really good sounding ukulele so um, yeah spruce top and then it has weava binding on the top and then solid acacia wood on the sides and on the back gloss finish so very nice you can see all of that beautiful acacia wood grain and there's the simple rope binding around the rosette and then we have wood binding around the perimeter of the ukulele this ukulele does have the radius fretboard. So what the radius fretboard does is it creates a slight curvature. So it kind of matches the natural like bend in your finger. So you really get to feel that little sense of ease when you play on an ukulele with a radius fretboard. Um, some other features is ebony bridge, fretboard, faceplate. And then we have the Grover gear tuners on the back, satin mahogany neck. So. Very sweet instrument. I really like the spruce top one here. Love the radius fretboard. And yeah, hope you enjoy the sound sample. Check it out.
Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I miss playing baritones. Just like how you get a unique sound with sopranos, you get such a unique sound with the baritones. And there's just some things that you can jam on or play that if you try to replicate on any of the other three sizes, tenor, soprano, concert, it just doesn't have the same vibe. Yeah, um, I mean, you don't even need the low, the low D or the low, the low string to get that kind of vibe. It's just the kind of unique sound the baritone brings. That that tonal quality. It's the, so unique. There's a sense of warmth and deepness that you get from the baritone. It's so rich. Yeah, you just cannot replicate it. It doesn't even come close to the tenor. So that's why. And another aspect to that is because the baritone is tuned down um, to basically it's the bottom four strings of the guitar. So basically, if you bar the fifth fret of a baritone ukulele, that's the standard tuning of an ukulele. So because you're tuned down five frets, you get such a deep, rich, big resonance. And yeah, it just makes it so unique. It's, it's, it's a very unique instrument. And if you play a tenor size ukulele, you, know, it, you can argue that you should probably have a soprano size ukulele to get that kind of sound and then get the baritone to get that kind of different meaty sound too. <laughs> Know, what do you think? It's nice to have experiment or you're experimenting with different sizes. Yeah, the ukulele. It is. It is like for me when I started getting to playing baritone, it opened up pretty much a whole new world for me, mm -hmm. because playing ukulele, especially tuned traditionally GCEA, um, you know, you kind of, every once in a while you kind of get stumped when you're looking for new ideas mm -hmm. and new inspiration. So playing with a baritone kind of helps broaden your horizon, you know, because it's it's in between an ukulele and a guitar. Mm -hmm. It's tuned like a guitar, but played like an ukulele, mm -hmm. and that's one of the most unique things about it. And some people, you know, can will will say something like, "The baritone is basically a four-string guitar," and I tell them, "Well, yes and no," because if you want like what you're saying, I would take the low string on the top and put a high put deep. a high yeah. high string on it, because that way you still get the deepness of the baritone, mm -hmm. but you maintain that traditional ukulele yeah. sound with a more richer yeah. overtone. And to me, the baritone is not defined because it has that low D or, you know, low G for, for, for that kind of purpose. But if you were to switch this out and put a high D so that you get a traditional tuning of the ukulele, like how like my dog has fleas, but it's tuned down, you know, five frets. Um, I think that's what makes the baritone a unique instrument because of its tuning, not because of the low D string. Yeah. Because there's that whole debate which we're not going to get into on this podcast, but there's a whole debate of, you know, low G versus high G. But to me, um, oh, yeah. new debate. Low D <laughs> versus high G. <laughs> low D versus high G. Reentrant baritone oh, versus man. linear. <laughs> so, yeah, that's 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 the baritone talk. It's 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 refreshing. It's fresh. Like yeah. you're saying, it, it brings new ideas to it's the It's very table. fresh. It's very <laughs> Oh, you're ready to be a dad or anything. Well, Corey's not here. Someone got to take over. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone has to fill in. Oh, man. Bring the corn. I'm just a substitute for now. <laughs> Maybe you can give it some step one, the AB. Yeah, okay. You want me to talk about it again? Yeah. Okay. Two and a half fast. I was like, like blistering just oh. I was listening to what he was I was like oh yeah yeah because oh. it's a warm <laughs> way to play too he's, yeah it's like, it's like everything comes out warm and clean so. yeah I really back up because I, I, I can feed off your solo and try to like play accordingly like that same vibe like if you're going really fast I'll try to like mm. Mm. Right, I try to right. add just I try to drive it forward you know so I, I like being in a backup <laughs> Or the background position. Oh, I, I love accompanying. I don't like the spotlight. I love accompanying too. And um, thank I, you, Uncle Brian, for teaching us how. Yes, to Uncle Brian people. Tolentino <laughs> is thank you. my mentor, and the reason why um, I know so many different types of things about accompanying because he taught me so much over the past five, six years that he's been guiding me, watching over me, and just yes, he's just been a really good friend too. So, oh yeah, um, yeah, it's been like family. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, he's such a treasure to have in the Hawaii ukulele community, or just the music community. He's, yeah, such a blessing. So shout out to Brian Tolentino. He's the man. Anything I know about accompaniment is from him. And Holly Hop Lucy <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So 
Okay. All right, guys. So here we have the Pono Baritone Acacia model or the Pono AB model ukulele. So solid, all acacia, bar uh, acacia wood on the top, sides, and back. So again, we're going to have pretty much the same specs like the tenor, concert, and soprano size um, acacia models. You know, it's going to have the, the bone, saddle, and nut, ebony bridge fretboard faceplate, Grover gear tuners on the back, satin mahogany neck. And then since this is the regular model, it has a satin finish all over the body. So um, yeah, very straightforward, very clean. And it, it sounds amazing. I mean, just baritone ukuleles again bringing such a new, fresh sound to the ukulele. And, you know, if you're a guitar player, the baritone is the perfect, like, connecting instrument to, if you want to kind of get your feet wet in the ukulele playing, the baritone is perfect because, again, it's um, the bottom four strings, same tuning, exact bottom four strings of a guitar. So when you're a guitar player moving to the ukulele, you know, you're going to have that ukulele sense of the feel because of like the instrument size and how it's set up. But tuning wise and how you, you know, if you had certain guitar licks or runs, you can play exactly the same thing on the ukulele. it would be the same thing. And then you can slowly start transitioning to ukulele types of things and then bam, get into the tenor size or the soprano or the concert size. So anyway, here is a sound sample on this very lovely baritone. So hard. Shout out to Betty Chong for a magnificent arrangement of Beatles song. It sounds and looks hard. My God. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. So Ooh. nice. <sighs> so rich in chords. <laughs> So I have a Pono ABD. This is a all solid acacia baritone deluxe model. Just like the standard AB, everything's pretty much very, very similar, except for one thing that stands out the most is the gloss finish. And baritones are great. Uh, they have a really nice deep sound and I'm really, really enjoying this one. And I hope you folks enjoy this sound sample.
Pono's are Pono baritones are the best baritones you can get Actually, for the money. Like it's what five hundred for that. <laughs> Four ninety nine. <laughs> You're not gonna get a better, better sounding bear. I don't think. It, yeah, it's that, no that's, way. A, that's a hard deal to beat. My gosh, like even my the fa my favorite baritone that I own is a Pono. Yeah, these it's a uh, one of the old pro classic models with Rose Williams Spruce. Oh. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. This is the Acacia, also the Acacia Baritone Pro Classic. Um, very, very warm sound, sound, especially because of the Acacia. It's a similar species to Koa, so you have similar density, um, some similar tones, and also really, really good projection. And um, that's what you can expect from the Pono ABPC, the Acacia Baritone Pro Classic. So hope you all enjoy this sound sample. <laughs>
here we have the Pono ABSH-SP model. So this is the Acacia Baritone slot head uh, with the spruce top. And spruce is one of my favorite or all-time favorite woods to put on the top of an ukulele because it's known for its punchiness, brightness, clarity, sustain, all of the things that I look for in a really good sounding ukulele. And for me, clarity, articulation is one of my favorite things that I look for in the sound of an ukulele. When I play a song on an ukulele, I want to make sure I can hear the note separation. I want to make sure I can hear every single note that I'm playing. Which is ukulele does fantastic. So beautiful sound. So um, some other features about this ukulele is that we have a purfling around the body of the instrument. We have a simple rope binding or a simple rope rosette around the sound hole. We have wee abo binding on the top and then solid acacia woods on the side and the back of the instrument. And of course, gloss finish so that you can really see all the beautiful wood grain of the acacia wood. Um, ebony bridge, fretboard, and headstock. And then we have Grover tuners, 1801 tuning ratios, very smooth, very easy to use. And um, yeah, it's really great. Um, really tune in on the tuning. Um, yeah, Talk and then the, tuning. huh? Talk about that tuning. This tuning, okay. And then the last thing about this instrument is it has the radius fretboard. So very nice for those bar chords. So what's special about this instrument is that it's tuned in the high D or the re-entrant tuning, which is like the traditional ukulele tuning. So usually baritones have the low D, but this one is shot with the high D. So this one is like a sound, you know, it sounds like an ukulele, like it sounds like a guitar, but because it has that high D, it gives it that ukulele characteristic. So. And to me, what makes the baritone so unique in sound um, to me, it's not if it has that low D, uh, low D string, it's just the tuning of the baritone because the baritone is actually the bottom four strings of a guitar. Meaning if I were to bar, uh, bar the fifth fret of this ukulele, you would get the standard GCEA tuning. So almost, it sounds like a tenor ukulele or a soprano or a concert, but now you get such a fresh sound and the resonance is so big, you know, big, warm sound. So it's so nice. Baritone is so unique in that respect. So here's a, here's a sound sample for you guys. Aloha everyone and mahalo for tuning in. On behalf of all of us here at the Ukulele site, we just want to say thank you for all of your support. Be sure to expect more videos to come. Um, this set of videos we were featuring the Acacia line of Pono, um, featuring various different sizes, different wood combinations, but mostly the Acacia back in size and also the wonderful work that Pono does with their instrument. Stay tuned for more. Catch you next time. Aloha.